Hi friends. I just wanted to show you something really cool that I didn't think would happen, but I kind of believed it would if I tried. So I did and it happened. And this is what I'm talking about. So here it is. This is a rose stem and I just cut it. I saw if you cut it right before a budding area um, and there would be like maybe another one on there. If you stuck it, if you cut it at an angle, which I did on both, and you stuck it in water and kept it in there and changed the water with fresh filtered water. Um, it was just a nub like, like this one, even a little bit smaller. and. Um, I stuck this in the water and it's been in there since, I don't know, maybe a week and a half. And look what I got. I can't even believe it. My hands have dirt on them. I've been playing with dirt and plants. But I just needed to show you this. So from this, and this is a thornless rose. Um, I got this for Mother's Day, so I just took one that I took the petals off of because I'm drying all the petals from all the roses and this is sprouting. And so now I want to get this to have roots so then I can actually plant this in the ground and have that to watch and see if it really does root and start making roses for me then I can always say these are the roses that my son gave me one year in 2022. Uh -huh. He thinks this is pretty cool too. Um, so what I did, so I just keep it in this water. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll like, I dip it in the water so it gets some water. That's what I've been doing and then I keep it by a light, a soft light from this window. And then I bought this. And this is for plant cuttings. So what I will do is, <clears throat> excuse me, I will, I have a little um, pot of dirt and um, you dip the end in this, shake it off, and then you put it in your potting soil. And this is what it says, cut the ends, it should be slightly moistened before treatment, which mine will be, stir cut ends in the root powder, hormone powder, remove the excess by tapping it off, and then you plant the treated cutting in a rooting medium such as potting soil and used regularly. And that's, then you just play the waiting game. And hopefully I'll have a free, free, um, rose plant in the future. My mom didn't think this was going to maybe happen and my husband didn't really think this was going to happen but I knew there was a 50-50 chance so I wanted to try and I'm glad I did. So I have a lot of ferns. I have a few. Well not a lot. Uh, it's a good handful on the side of my yard. So I took this it's like a fresh um, fern and this actually moves and curls to the light in this water even if it's been even though it's been plucked it's very interesting I've been keeping it in here with the rose and this pretty little vase that I picked up at an antique store recently I love the texture of that and it's like an opal so it's, I just love it so anyway um I'm going to use, be using this for propagating a bunch of my other plants. So I'm going to take clippings and start just going to town. <laughs> I'm going to be a crazy plant lady. So I'm trying to be like my mom. She's my inspiration and my idol. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this coolness. Maybe one day I'll show you it's roses that come from it. Fingers crossed. Okay. Hope you all have a good day. Bye-bye.